what's up this is a another magazine and uh, I can't really be sure if this is Terry Farrell or not um, I couldn't really find anything it didn't really say but also this is uh, an Italian magazine so this is Vogue Italia and this is from 1983 yeah but uh, yeah I, I'm not really sure if this was uh, a magazine uh, that Terry did or not but uh, there was another model uh, called Brooke Shields and uh, some of the pictures look almost the same uh, uh, Terry Farrell and Brooke Shields it's really hard to uh, uh, to know the difference if there's no uh, little sub caption or something that says you know who it is or whatever because uh, Brooke Shields and Terry Farrell looked almost e exactly alike uh, look almost the same as with some of the photos um, there was a, another uh, picture though where is it? is it here? no, it was this one there was another picture and I think that I, I don't I, again I don't know if that's Terry or not uh, everything obviously is in a, a Italian uh, in this article but uh, yeah it says Vogue Italia in Copertina non colore per il estate con il completo uh, pantaloni di catone di Jenny sola tota nera una ghiacca stampata in grigio olivio e ne Nero? Why is this acting up? There we go. Con colose in vita sandale de Diego de la Val. Vale. Maculage de Aurelia con i prodotti Shisidio della Nuova Lina Primavera Estate uh, Calori Luce Un makeup creato de Serge Lutens Sole Palpe Bre Stufamuture the ombretto eye shadow palette netone del midnight rainbow le labra sono delicamente delicamente dipente con lipstick nail color morning rose petrinatura de sam mcknight photo the Bill King all right so whoever that is <laughs> and then obviously you know there's all kinds of uh, 80s uh, Italian um, 
fashion, uh, makeups, uh, and things. And actually, this is a really big, uh, a very big um, magazine. I mean, this thing is is really really thick. There's a, they put a lot of effort into it. There's a enormous amount of pages into it. And actually, this uh, this magazine weighs actually it feels like it weighs a couple pounds too. So, yeah, that's just, you know, that's just how they did things back in the day. I mean, obviously they don't, you know, make this kind of stuff. I, they don't make them like they, like they used to, uh, at least anymore, but, yeah. So, that, I guess that's one of the cool things about this. Uh... Obviously, there's all kinds of stuff here. Jewelry in this one. Looks like somewhere in uh, Venice or somewhere. I don't know. They have those uh, roads. Or not roads, but uh, all those different waterways and stuff that you could like take a canoe or I forget what they call those little those little boats that they that they go around in instead of sidewalks or paved roads they go around in those little uh, boats <laughs> at least in part of that city they do or most of it. James Bond.